KWTX at 4 starts now. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. I'm Justin Early here with Megan Boyd. And obviously this cold weather is what we're all talking about. Right. Not just the cold itself, but also the wintry precipitation that is coming as well. So let's head to Brady Taylor. Yeah, guys, uh, yeah, that icy threat's really what we're watching uh, here across Central Texas. Now, we've got a winter storm warning. That's the pink color you see on the map there that covers all of Central Texas. That runs until noon Wednesday. So this isn't going to be a quick shot and we're done. We're actually kind of just barely getting into the beginning of this winter storm. And right now we're just dealing with some small pockets of freezing rain that's developing. And there could be some mist and drizzle at times as well. And I wouldn't think mist and drizzle would amount to much, but when you take even a thin layer of moisture, freeze it on contact when it gets on surfaces, can put a quick glaze of ice down that can cause some problems. So here's what we're watching. You see this little red squiggly line here. That's the freezing line. So areas east of this are staying above freezing. Areas to the west below freezing. It's really those below freezing areas that we're going to watch throughout the remainder of the afternoon and evening as little pockets of light rain, again, freezing rain, maybe a little bit of sleet falling across our area. It's not going to be widespread, not going to be overly heavy all the way through midnight, but watch what happens as we head into tomorrow. That's when a bigger wave of this activity moves in and likely to push right across central Texas. See some of those deep purples on the map. That's where we're starting to talk about maybe even heavy precipitation that comes down again, mainly as rain, maybe some sleet falling and freezing on contact. This is a new product the National Weather Service puts out called Winter Storm Severity Index. And if you were watching last night during our coverage, we were under the level two minor and even some limited, but it's been upgraded to a level three moderate risk. And the reason why is we're expecting a better possibility